before we begin tonight, I just want you to remember to just press in. The past, the past, and the past you cannot change. The only thing we can change tonight is the future. And hold on to the promise <coughs> that God gave you and the vision that God planted inside of you. Last week in studying the life of Moses, we saw how his parents played an important role in his life. Moses was put in an ideal environment with all of the potential to produce greatness. Perhaps you did not have parents like Moses or even more so raised in an environment that did not cultivate their behavior of greatness or success. The story of a man's life of this man's life tells us that our past does not have to produce a, pro a product of our future. Robert E. Lee, the great army general, was an unwanted baby with a father he never knew, and he was born into a world of which he may not have, that he may have brought pain. Jezebel, Jezebel was told, was born unto his mother in sorrow. We can speculate today that maybe she had a painful delivery or perhaps he was born after the death of his father or, an un or he was unwanted as a child or he was such as problems child that caused her sorrow. Point, we do not know exactly why the sorrow pain, but we know that the circumstances surrounding his birth presents a dark past. He was not willing to allow his past to dictate his future. Verse 10, he called on the God of Israel. He prayed this prayer and was revolutionized his life. He asked for the blessing of God. Here is not a request of selfishness, but one of desperation. I believe Jezebel is saying to God, I cannot keep living like this. I need your blessing on my life. Genesis 3, 20, 32, 26 says, I will not <clears throat> let thee go except thou bless me. What does it mean to have blessings of God upon you? Is it when God uses you for to be a blessing to those around you? It is when he uses it for that. God enlarge my coast, coast, territory, border, or limit. Just be want it to be more and do more for God. Perhaps he's saying, I want this negative turned into something positive. Second Chronicles 16 and 9 says, The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is the willingness, the willingness to allow God to do the extra. I want to touch more people's life with the gospel. I want to see Christ lived out through me. I want to do more for the cause of Christ. There are many ways of saying to God enlarge my coast. God may hand you upon me. Acts 5 and 38 If this counsel or this work be a man it will come to naught. But if it be of God, he will not overthrow it. Least happily he found even to fight against God.